Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so there was something that I definitely wanted to share in these videos. And it's something that, sorry, we've got a new puppy at the moment. So <laughs> I'm just looking to see if he's going to make a whole lot of noise and I've got to turn it all off. Um, we've only just got him over the weekend, so he's just settling in. Um, so what I wanted to talk about in this video is how when you start to wake up to your life, you start to see yourself in others and others in you. Now, the last few times that I've been putting together the thumbnails, you know, I'm creating the thumbnails to put, you know, for each different video that I'm making, I go through and in some of, uh, this started a while back now, in a lot of them, you know, someone made a comment in one of my videos about having kind eyes or gentle eyes or something like that, loving eyes. And I looked at them, I looked at them really carefully after they mentioned that. And every time I look at my eyes now, I see my mother's eyes because they're exactly the same shape, the same color, everything. So I look at them and I see her eyes, you know, and just recently I remember there was a couple of thumbnails that I put together and the whole expression, the way I looked, everything looked just like my sister. I could see her in that photo, you know, in that image that I had chosen. And there's other times where I look at it and it's so my cousin, you know, one of my best friends. <laughs> She's been with me my whole life, you know, and we've shared many experiences, the same experiences together. And I look at those photos and that's her. I see her eyes, I see her expression, her cheekiness, her everything. I see her in that photo. I no longer see myself, but I see all the people that have been in my life, that have touched my life, and I see now how the blood that runs in me runs in them. You know, in my mum, in my sister, in my cousin, because her dad and my dad are brothers. And so many times now I look at the photos and I don't even see myself anymore. I see all these people that have been in my life, throughout my life, you know, that I've loved, that have loved me, you know, and it kind of started back when I had my daughter and people would tell me, oh, she's so beautiful. And I'd be like, oh, I, I know. You know, I couldn't help but say, I know, you know, I love her. And then, um, but then shortly after they'd say how beautiful she was or how cute or how gorgeous, they'd say, she looks like you. And I'd be like, no, she doesn't. <laughs> she looks like daddy. You know, I always say that. And so it, it took a while before I accepted, you know, that they could see me in her and her in me, you know, and I could start to see it. I just remember one day looking at myself in the mirror thinking, is it them or is it me? You know, because there's so many people that already told me she looks so much like you. So I'm thinking maybe I'm in denial and I'm not accepting because to me she was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen in my life. This little creature that we brought into the world together with my husband. You know? The most beautiful thing I thought I'd ever looked at. And so for other people to be telling me that she looked like me, I was always like, no. <laughs> you know, we do not look the same. She looks nothing like me. I look nothing like that. And then one day I remember standing in front of the mirror and just thinking, maybe it's me. I'm the one that can't see it. All that beauty that I see in her and how wonderful she is. All of that that I look at, that I think she's amazing. She's wonderful. She's beautiful. All of that. Maybe that was in me too. And I just couldn't see it. So I was standing there in the mirror looking and it took a long time. To be honest, it didn't start until I started putting the thumbnails together for these YouTube videos. And I started to see, oh, they're my mum's eyes. In most videos, the expressions, I remember my mum looking at me that way. That's my mum's eyes. Or the smile, that's my dad's smile, you know? That cheeky smile, it was always so cheeky. Or there's my sister. All of a sudden there'd be videos, you know, there'd be YouTube thumbnails I'd be creating and the shots that I'd chosen. Wow, that looks so much like my sister. Oh, there she is. 
that's my daughter. That's her cheeky eyes. That's her cheeky little grin. That's her captured in that one photo of me. You know, I started to see myself in everyone else that I loved and I started to see them in me. And that's when I started to feel the connection more with the people that I love. You know, that they are in me and I am in them. You know, especially when it's family and you know that your blood runs through them as well. You share the same blood. It was just such a special moment when I started creating these videos. It was the first time I would look at the photos that I'd picked and I would think, wow, I am beautiful. It took me my whole lifetime. You know, and I'd wished, now I look back and I'd wished, I'd have seen that when I was 15. I'd have seen that when I was 18. I'd have seen that because it's always been there. It's always been there. I have not changed over the years. A few more wrinkles, you know? But the face, the expression, the body, my body hasn't changed that much over the years. It's always been the same. And there's nothing really when I look at myself to think that it's ugly or that it's not proportionate or it's out of place. There's nothing on me. Everything is perfect, you know? And it's taken me this long. I'm almost 50. It's taken me this long to get comfortable with how I look and to feel good about how I look on the outside. And I think, I honestly believe it all comes from the inside. When we start to feel confident with who we are, we start to feel happy with our place in the world. We start to share ourselves with others. We're open to connect with others. That that beauty starts to shine through. We start to see it more than when we're trying to hide from the world, when we don't want to connect, when we don't want to be seen. So I want you to experience that as well. You know, when you start to connect, that you start to see all these other people in you and you in them. How wonderful that is. It's just an awesome feeling. You know, even with my husband, we don't look alike, but so many times there'll be expressions that he does or things that he says, and I think, that is so me. You know, we're so alike in so many ways. We're so connected. We are that connected. I see myself in him and many times I'll say and do things and I'll see him in me you know it's just funny but that's something I wanted to share today about what starts to happen when you start to wake up to your life and you start to feel more connected you know all of a sudden you're comfortable with how you look and you feel more confident with how you look and you see yourself in everyone else and you see them in you what they're capable of saying, what they're capable of doing. They're all things that you're capable of doing and saying as well. It's just we choose to not do sometimes. Oh, anyway, that's another video I was thinking of putting together. It'll come in the next one. So I just remembered one of the videos I wanted to make. Okay, I love you guys. Mwah! Remember to click like and subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.